Welcome to TG Service Center. Uh, here are tips for you. Water damage. Well, yeah, in my last video, I talked about how I'll show what happens when water splashes on your screen and how it damages your, your screen. Um, yeah, of course, you wouldn't want to do this intentionally, but you could actually inadvertently make it happen such that water splashes on your TV screen. Now look at the effect of liquid in your TV. From across the screen, water flows downwards to the bottom of the screen. And where does it settle? The liquid will go to the bottom of the TV where the top of the screen is located. Yeah, are you surprised? Yeah, the screen is usually for LED TVs, the modern screens. The screens are usually installed upside down in the unit. Now look at this. You see, see water in the cabinet? It stays there until it touches, you know, sensitive parts. You see those heat pads that are put there to help the screen last longer. You see how water damages it. Although this screen had been damaged before I spilled water on the screen, uh, it was something like maybe tea or some other liquid. It caused the calves to detach from the source. You see, the corrosion was so severe that those things just came up all, all by themselves. The bonds had weakened. So that's what you get. It's really terrible. Harmful effects of water stuff. Now, um, that question, how does it happen? Why does it happen? The answer has to do with how LEDs, modern LEDs are designed. <clears throat> you know, unlike old flat panel TVs, LED, modern LED TVs are designed with the screens installed upside down. I, I mentioned that before. So what you have is that the circuitry, the part of the screen, we have the circuitry that controls the screen, normally attaches to the top of the screen. But now, when you install, when the screens are installed in the unit, they have to be upside down. It is so that you can have a thinner bezel at the top or a fatter bezel at the bottom. Yeah, and so this allows for water when it gets to the bottom to damage it. You see that source? That's the so that's the circuitry that controls the screen. Now look at situations or actions that can result in this happening. You know, inadvertently, a kid shooting water at the TV using a water gun or a toy gun and someone accidentally spilling tea on the TV and then people washing the TV as though it was a car. <laughs> Funny, huh? Yeah, some people still do that. Now, look at the damage water costs to this screen. You see this, that, that cough? It's burnt out. It's, it's gone. Yeah dead can never be resurrected no no way it's the bottom of the source the source is this green narrow board yeah it connects the calves tabs to the glass and then to the chicken so the problem with this screen was a bar that's the mark where you have the dead cough, there's a bar right there. So to fix this, the cough will need to be replaced, and then the source will be repaired as well. It needs to be repaired. That can be done. Now, look at the screen. With the aid of this digital microscope, we're able to see where the problem is clearly. It magnifies the point where there is a corrosion. How did this happen? It may have been just a tiny drop of water. 
connection with perhaps an AC. It lands at the wrong place and then you have uh, a fire, a burn. <laughs> it's a tiny spark. And then you have this shorting of uh, critical voltage points. Problem with this screen was that it showed no picture, it was blank screen. Because uh, the protection built into the screen kicked in, and why it sensed that uh, short, it would kick in and no voltage, no energy, no signal will be supplied to the screen. Yeah, that's the point. That's it. That's what's showing on the screen with the aid of the digital microscope. Yeah, that's the bone magnified. It's terrible, right? You know how I, how I describe this problem? You, you could uh, liken it to an ant, a really wicked ant <laughs> in your boxes. Uh, how would you like that? <laughs> terrible. Yeah, the screen would be so suffocated. Here's another screen. Uh, it's showing all right, but yeah, I won't have showing with the freezing, yeah, and the other half showing these rainbow lines. And then at the extreme end here, you have this dark bar. You can see why there is a bar there. This is where you have the water damage. You see the black spots, carbon deposits, yeah, and the result of the corrosion that occurred. So that's how bad water can affect your screen. It's really a bad thing. I mean, you really want to avoid it as much as possible. Yeah. Now, thankfully, this screen was repaired. And we didn't need to use any specialized equipment. We only replaced the source, a manual bonding, and then with the flywire fix to help a uh, uh, signal point that was missing, you know, that helped. In the next video, you'll see the corrected or repaired screen. You see those black, dark spots on the cuff, you see that, see that? That's a result of the water. And here on the right side too, See those dark spots, those are disconnected lines. Now we have the fixed screen. So it's replaced, you see that it's manual bonding, soldering. <laughs> yeah, we've been soldering since 2010. Yeah. In fact, we pioneered manual bonding here in uh, Africa, West Africa. <laughs> yeah, one of those did it. Now, if you've learned anything or two, please do not forget to subscribe. I will appreciate you dropping comments on what you'd like to see posted and what we can do to improve this channel. In a future post, we will look into what you can do if you suspect your TV has strong some liquid. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.